Still, the inch of WBC Super Middleweight Champion of the World. A magnificent performance and a unanimous decision victory over Kayla Platt. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the Mexican monster, David and Bahia Roja Benavides. I'll let the uh, champ kick his feet up a little bit. He's, you know, been working hard throughout the course of the evening. Uh, David, we got the microphone there, but first of all, we're about an hour you know, removed from the fight. How are you feeling? Main eventing here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena against Caleb Plant, a massive victory. What kind of statement do you think you said and you made here this evening? Um, I just feel really great. You know, I just want to give the thanks to the fans who came and made this uh, filled up the arena. I feel like we did exactly what we, the fight lived up to what it was supposed to live up to. It's bad blood, um, but I'm glad that me and Caleb Plant were able to fight like warriors in the ring and, you know, uh, bury the beef, basically. But um, I just, I knew, I knew I was stronger than him and I knew I had a lot to prove. I had a lot to show to the fans. Um, a lot of people said I didn't have defense. I just come forward. Yeah, I do come forward, but I have a lot of defense. I have a lot of tricks on my sleeve, too. And I think I, I showed it that I'm a monster. You know, after the sixth round picked up, um, I just started picking up and, you know, started, you know, landing some big shots, like the counter, the body shots. Um, that's, and then as soon as it started the engine, uh, got the engine going, and it was, it was just no turning back. And, you know, like I said, I love this. I have one of the best fighting spirits in the game, and I, I just love going toe to toe with anybody. Well, we love watching throughout the course of the 12 rounds. Questions for David Benavides. We'll start off over here with Keith Iden. Uh, David, congratulations, man. Uh, Thank you. You said before the fight that you would not be satisfied if you did not stop him. If, was it at all not satisfying because you didn't get the stoppage? Yeah, I mean, I'm a little disappointed I didn't get the stoppage, but, if you, you know, you guys seen how his face looked. You know, he was looked really bloody and... I was really opposing my will. I really beat him up really good. And um, like I said, I'm, gonna, I'm not really satisfied because I didn't get the, the knockout, but I, this is a great way to get a victory. You know, just dominating performance. It was, a, it was a great performance. There's a lot of things I can tweak in my game to make sure I get the, the stoppage next time. But also I feel like, um, I don't want to throw Kenny, Kenny Bayless under the bus, but you know, he didn't call Caleb Plan out in any of the, the clinches he was doing the whole fight. You know, um, and, I think if Kenny Bayless would have said something about the clinches, you know, um, maybe he would have stopped Caleb from trying to clinch, and I would have clipped him. But um, I, I was hurting him a lot of times, you know, busted his eye open, um, turned to the body, and you know, uh, there's I can still get better. I can still get better, but I'm, I'm just very, I am, I'm, I am satisfied with this performance. I'm not gonna say I'm not. I'm very satisfied. Uh, last question for you is: Your dad said the other day, if he were Eddie Reynoso, would you put Canelo anywhere near you? You feel the same way that that, that it's going to unfold like that, that he's not going to fight you, or do you think he eventually will? I mean, I feel like as uh, Canelo Alvarez, he needs these fights. You know, um, a big a big fighter like me, this is definitely a really big fight. And as you can see, as me and Caleb Plant was a, 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 a huge fight. You know, so I think it'll be huge pay per view numbers. And, I mean, let's just take it back to fighting, man. I mean, I, I want I want to prove myself. Canelo's proved himself, but I feel like he needs to give me the opportunity too. And it's not like I'm begging for something. I'm, I've been mandatory for the past two fights. So it's something I've earned, you know? And especially after this fight, um, I showed that I belong to being, I, I deserve to be in there. You know, I wasn't really getting hit as much. You know what I mean? I, my defense was good. I, I thought Caleb Plant was faster. So I was really countering and I was using my head movement and defense good. I know I can get better. But I feel like the, the only fight that people want to see in Super Bowl would be versus Canelo, so let's give it to him. Yeah, go! Questions for David Benavides. David, in Spanish, Ernesto Maduro de No Puedes Parar Boxeo, aquí a tu derecha. Acá, David, aquí ven. Eh, David, antes que nada, eh, creo que la gente piensa que es muy fácil bloquear arriba el cuadrilátero. Y yo creo que no hay nada que reclamarte, absolutamente nada de tu actuación. Pero quisiera hacerte dos preguntas. La primera. ¿No crees que fue sumamente valiente que le plan y merece un reconocimiento? Sí pues, sí, pues es un peleador muy bueno, se está moviendo mucho, pero yo creo que lo que la razón que no lo quiere, no, no, no quiere es porque Kenny, Kenny Vélez no le estaba diciendo nada cuando estaba, me estaba agarrando, me estaba agarrando bastante todo, todo la, toda la pelea. So, yo creo que por eso no lo quiere, pero él, él es un, un, un uh, guerrero también, es un peleador muy bueno, so, no, la, uh, le tengo mucho respeto también. Well, you know, uh, I didn't knock him out because Kenny Bayless didn't allow me to, really. People think that knocking people out may be easy, but it's not. 
and I still feel like Plant was a warrior. I really respect him, and you know, I won, I won rightfully the way, the way that I could, you know. Y finalmente, David, haciendo un análisis de tú, de David Benavides, te sientes listo ya para que la siguiente pelea sea con Canelo Álvarez. Haciendo un análisis tú mismo de tu actuación, si la siguiente para ti es Canelo. Sí, pues sí, pues ahorita yo me siento 100% listo para Canelo. Yo creo que hay muchas cosas que puedo arreglar en el gimnasio y eso es lo que va a hacer. Me va a tomar unas vacaciones, tres semanas de um, descanso y pues vamos a comenzar a trabajar otra vez. Pero yo creo que sí, estamos listos para Canelo en septiembre. Yo creo que él me tiene que dar la chance para pelearlo y estamos listos, los fans están listos, yo estoy listo y va a quedarle la pelea. The question was, do you feel ready for Canelo now that you took care of plant? Uh, David said that he's 100% ready. I'm 100% ready. I'm going to take a quick vacation for three weeks. Then it's time to come back to the gym, tweak some things, and then let's give the fans and everybody what they want. Yeah, we all want that fight. I especially. Can you imagine? More questions for the media. David, congratulations to you and the family, man. Um, Okay. You don't really get tested like this in fights too often, I guess. Um, what did you kind of find in, inside, you know, to kind of turn things around when, you, when they needed to happen? And then, um, you know, what, what kind of changed the, the, the fight for you? Did it feel to you like uh, your power would overcome him at some point? Yeah, I mean, the, the main thing is that I wanted to be patient. I mean, Caleb Plant is a great counterpuncher. As you can see, he's really fast. I didn't want to just go in there and get countered with any, you know, shots. You know, I really had to take my time. I think you guys seen a good jab. My jab was way more effective than Caleb Plant's. You guys are only talking about Caleb Plant having a more better jab and stuff like that. Um, but as soon as I got in there, you know, the fight is not a four or six round fight. It's a 12 round fight, you know, so you got to start slow. Um, but as soon as I, you know, I found my groove, there's nothing you can do to stop me. You know, I hurt him to the body, hurt him to the... Hurt him to the head, um, cut the ring off pretty good, and like I said, I'm just satisfied with this. There's a lot of things I can fix in the in the in the in my in my game, but um, overall, I'm satisfied with this. This is my first fight pay per view. This is the biggest fight I've ever been in. This is the biggest fight in my life, and I feel like I did amazing. You know, I mean, we gave, we went out there. I told you I'm gonna put a beat on Caleb Paris. Oh, and I did. Uh, quick question right here, David, in front. Um, after seeing your stablemate Ryo lose the way he did on those judges' scorecards, after that battle in the 12th round, after it rang, did you guys have any thoughts or like second guess that maybe the judges would go against you guys? That's a good question. Um, I didn't. I wasn't thinking of that um, at all. I mean, I was just a little disappointed because I thought Ryo was more effective. You know, he, he rocked him a lot. Um, but, um, that was that was his fight. You know, I had to fight. He, he fought his game. You know, I had to fight my game plan. You know, I couldn't think um, if the the judges were gonna rob it. You know, so I I just had to keep fighting my game plan, stay disciplined, stay um, stay focused, and that's exactly what I did. David, right here, brother. Steven Cordenio, KOR Sports. Congratulations, man. Uh, talk to me about. The end of the fight, the bell rings, you raise your hand, you're kind of walking around the ring and Caleb comes up to you, kind of puts his arm around and you guys exchange words. Talk to me about uh, that moment there. Um, I, I just told him, you know, man, man, I'm sorry for all the trash talk that we, we went we went at each other, you know, we are talking a lot of shit to each other, you know, a lot of it, I'm not going to say it wasn't necessary because it was necessary because this fight was huge, you know, it was a huge fight and sometimes that's what you need to bring the best out of two men. And we're both warriors. He's a warrior. You know, he definitely showed it, but I showed it that I'm the better warrior. And um, I just wanted, I wanted this opportunity to be challenged by a top super middleweight. You know, he's definitely top three. You know, I'm top two. The number one is Canelo. So I mean, um, we both had a, a lot to fight for. You know, to, the winner supposedly is going to get Canelo. And you know, so I, I, I put everything into this training camp. You know what I mean? And um, I know he did too. But you know, at, at the end of the day, I, I don't want to hold no grudges against nobody. Um, I'll only do that in case, unless we're, you know, we have, we're building a fight or something, but after that, there's no need, you know, I'm not that type of guy, I've never been that type of guy, so I have nothing respect for Caleb Plant, and, you know, I'm happy he gets to go home to his family safe. Ms. Kicker, congratulations. Uh, this question for Samson, you, it's a while ago, but you called uh, the chances of fighting Canelo a fantasy fight. I was wondering if you thought those chances had changed 
did they change tonight? What, what, do, you, what do you think about that, about the Canelo possibility? Well, uh, I thought that it would never happen. Now I believe it could happen. And the reason is because you have nobody else to fight. Yes. Yeah. Do you have anyone of equality of opposition that you deserve? Canelo. So I believe that uh, he will understand and he will take uh, the chance to fight the, the Mexican monster. Hey David, congratulations. Um, most people who uh, watched the fight had uh, the fight on even terms or maybe had planned ahead, you know, first half of the fight. Was there a particular instance or a, a flurry, a punch that you felt the f uh, fight being turned in your favor? Yeah, I don't know if you guys seen it, but I hit him with a body shot and I heard him, Ugh. and I told him I heard you. I told him I heard you. And uh, that was that's what changed everything. That was in round four. And from there, um, it was just kept hitting him with body shots, kept hitting him with hard shots. I know I'm the harder puncher. That's why I'm telling you guys. I, I've said it over and over again. Everybody I've been in the ring with, I've heard it. everybody since I was 14 years old. And that's something that nobody can take away from me. I know I got that power, you know. And um, if somebody pushes me to the limit like that. I get even stronger. So, um, yeah, that was basically going to turn, and I just kept hurting him, kept hurting him. Um, I was really surprised because um, I don't know if it's just the, the neck workouts we've been doing, or like, I don't know what it is. I just I don't feel the power with these guys at all. I didn't feel the power with Caleb Plant. I thought it was going to be way faster. Um, or I guess I just, you know, my head, I worked on my head movement really good. But I knew I didn't really feel threatened at all. Um, I don't know, it was, it, was just, it was just a good fight. I was just in it 100%. Um, I was just in it 100%. I'm just happy to be in these type of fights because I really love this. I really love fighting. I love going toe to toe. Well, David, the night belongs to you, so we'll give you final thoughts as you conclude still the WBC interim, a super middleweight champion of the world, remaining undefeated, main event in here, a raucous crowd, passionate, people watching all over the world. Your final thoughts as you get ready to enjoy a nice vacation with your lovely family. I'm just happy, man, and I'm happy that I can give these type of fights to the people. I mean, if people really enjoy these type of fights. And like I said, I'm willing to put my body on the line to make sure the fans get these type of fights because I'm, at the end of the day, I don't care about belts. None of that, I feel like I'm a world champion because the, the fans make me feel like that. And um, I'll, I'll give my, you know, I'll put myself on the line for anybody just so you guys can join these type of fights. And thank you so much. I'm really appreciative and grateful for everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, still undefeated David Benavides with David Benavides victory over Caleb Black. Thank you so much for joining us all week long. We'll talk to you in a few weeks. David Benavides remaining undefeated. What a battle here in Las Vegas. Good night, everybody.